One common issue that stops apps relying on the universal C runtime from starting up is the missing ucrt base .dll file. When your system can't find this file, you get an error message. This can happen due to malware infections, missing or outdated Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages, a corrupted or deleted ucrt base .dll file, unexpected system file loss, or even issues within a specific application. A sudden computer shutdown can also trigger this error, whether it's from holding the power button or a power outage while a program is running. To fix this, let's go through a few methods. First, repairing or reinstalling Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. The ucrt based .dll file is part of the universal C runtime, which comes bundled with Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. If it's missing or corrupted, applications depending on it may fail to launch. Press the Windows key and R together. Type Control in the Run box and hit Enter to open the Control Panel. In the Control Panel, go to Uninstall a Program and look for Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable, both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Right-click each one and uninstall them. Then, download the latest versions from the official Microsoft website and install them. This will restore all necessary runtime libraries, including the missing ucrtbaase.dll file. Next, running System File Checker and the DISM tool. Corrupted system files can cause this error, and these tools help fix that. Open the Start menu, search for Command Prompt, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. In the Command window, type sfc slash scannow press Enter, and wait for the scan to complete. Once it's done, run another command, dism.exe slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health press enter and let the process finish. These tools will detect and repair any corrupted system files, including the ucrtbaase.dll file. Now, re-registering the ucrtbase.dll file. If you've already reinstalled Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables, the file should now be back on your system but it might still need to be registered manually. Open command prompt as an administrator and type regsvr32 ucrtbase.dll press enter. This ensures the file is correctly registered and can be accessed by applications. Another option is copying the ucrtbase.dll file to the applications directory. Some apps may not load the DLL file from the default system folders due to incorrect path configurations. To fix this, manually place the file where the application is installed. First, locate the DLL file in your system. For 64-bit systems, it's in C colon Windows backslash system 32 for 32-bit systems. Check. Copy the file from one of these locations and paste it into the folder where the application is installed, usually inside program files. This helps the app locate the file directly. If the issue happens with only one specific program, reinstalling it can solve the problem. An incomplete or corrupted installation may cause missing files including ucrtbase.dll. Open the control panel, go to uninstall a program and find the problematic application. Right click and uninstall it. If the program isn't listed there, open Windows settings by pressing the Windows key and I. Go to apps, find the faulty program, and uninstall it from there. Then, download the latest version from the official website, install it, and restart your computer. This ensures all necessary files are installed properly. Finally, updating Windows can also help. Missing system updates may lead to DLL errors. To update, open Settings and go to Windows Update. Check for updates and install any pending ones. Once done, restart your PC to apply the changes. That's it. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the ucrt based .dle missing error and get your applications running again. If the issue still persists, consider checking for malware or performing a system restore to revert any recent changes that might have caused the problem. If this video helped, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech fixes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.